Hi, well, welcome back. My name is Ken. This is Mastering UX, and this is the channel where we cover the nuances of user experience design and strategy. In this special episode, we'll put a spotlight on the innovation giant Tesla. You know, whether we like Tesla or not, I think Tesla is a fascinating case study for innovation. Today, we'll break down the fundamental building blocks of the innovation trifecta, and that is desirability, feasibility, and viability, and show how they intertwine to shape a company like Tesla. The innovation trifecta. Well, this innovation trifecta acts as a compass for successful digital and physical uh, product design and development. Desirability is the human-centered element, and it's about creating products that not only fulfill a need, but also evoke an emotional want and emotional connection. Feasibility is rooted in the practical aspect of production, ensuring that the product is possible within the constraints of technology the current technology and resources. And finally, viability emphasizes the economic sustainability of the product. It has to be cost effective to produce and be able to generate enough revenue for sustained profitability. Well, what about Tesla? Tesla's journey is an exceptional example of this innovation trifecta in action. For decades, electrical vehicles, also known as EVs, were seen as a far-fetched idea that was impractical and non-viable. Well, Tesla changed this narrative. Instead of focusing on simply creating another purely practical, efficient electrical car, Tesla set out to make an electrical vehicle that was desirable and even cool. The progress of Tesla models can really be uh, seen and can really be a great uh, demonstration of the innovation trifecta in action. So let's break down Tesla's strategies across its vehicle lineup and see how each model contributed to Tesla's narrative of desirability. Well, there was first the Tesla Roadster, and the Tesla Roadster broke onto the scene in 2008 with a hefty price of $109,000. It was clear that Tesla was aiming for high -end, the high-end sports car market, and it was not attempting to produce an affordable uh, mass-produced market vehicle yet. Uh, hold on to that thought. With impressive performance stats that rivaled a Porsche 911, the Roadster redefined what was feasible for an electrical vehicle, which was also this kind of proving of viability of the high-end EV market. Despite limited initial funding of around $7.5 million, which was this kind of Series A funding, Tesla demonstrated the feasibility of producing an exciting all-electric Roadster that was the first highway-legal EV. The Roadster laid the groundwork for Tesla's future models. So I want to emphasize that Tesla's starting off with a $109,000 exotic sports car is much more feasible than attempting to build a mainstream, mainstream commuter car for the middle class American. Well, this was really a brilliant strategy that allowed them to prove it to investors that the feasibility of EVs while uh, they were also building up their production knowledge and capability with each new model. So let's move on to the te Tesla Model S. The Model S launched in 2012 and it brought electrical cars into the mainstream luxury car market. And this car was priced at around $69,420. And you can kind of compare it to the Mercedes S-Class. It was kind of this luxury contender. And they had this P85 edition and it had a whopping 460 horsepower, zero to 60 time in just 2.3 seconds. So meanwhile, Tesla's manufacturing capabilities took a massive leap. They opened a production facility in Fremont, California that was capable of producing 500,000 cars per year. And it was the Model S that helped Tesla achieve its first profitable quarter in 2013, showing investors that Tesla's business model was economically viable. Well, then they worked on the Model X. That Model X in 2015 it was Tesla's answer to the luxury SUV market. Despite early production issues that was caused by its kind of ambitious design features like the Falcon wing doors, the Model X garnered strong demand, solidifying investor confidence. In fact, in Q3 of 2016, Tesla reported a profit um, attributing the success to increased Model X sales. Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y, they were kind 
kind of bundled together. And this is where they really entered into sort of the mass uh, mass consumer market. With the Model 3 and the Model Y, they started to penetrate mainstream status. Despite the initial production hell that Tesla faced of this kind of increasing capacity, and even they started to open a factory in Shanghai, and they had to cope with this kind of global demand. Well, this played a major significant role in demonstrating the feasibility and economic viability of a mass market electric car. By 2020, the Model 3 was not only the world's best selling electrical car, but it was also the uh, only electrical car in the UK's top 10 best selling cars list. So another thing I want to point out about the kind of innovation trifecta is Tesla developed a supercharger network. So Tesla's proprietary charging solution has been a significant factor in enhancing the desirability of Tesla's cars. It allowed for long distance travel and it addressed a major concern of this quote range anxiety among potential EV buyers. By the end of 2020, Tesla had over 20,000 chargers, superchargers in operation. I think it's over over 30,000 now. And um, this infrastructure increased the desirability of owning a Tesla for those wanting to take a long distance trip without having to worry about running out of power. Uh, the next thing I'd like to talk to you about is the manufacturing units. Tesla's approach to manufacturing played this key role in demonstrating the feasibility of electrical cars. Um, their commitment to vertical integration, the usage of advanced robotics, consistent focus on battery technology innovation really set them apart from other um, manufacturers. In fact, the Gigafactory in Nevada is one of the largest, um, largest buildings in the world, and it's crucial in Tesla's battery production. So where will Tesla land in the future? Where will they maneuver with their innovation trifecta in the future? Well, autonomous driving, a highly desirous feature, is becoming more feasible thanks to Tesla's continuous investment in AI and machine learning and technologies. And as you may already know, all the cars already have all the sensors and hardware that's needed for this sort of AI technology to accomplish this autonomous driving. Tesla is indeed a tale of successful application of the innovation tri trifecta. I'm not saying that they're a perfect comp company, but what I will say is that right now they're facing um, a time when their stock prices are soaring um, and they're one of the most, according to their stock price, ranked as the most valuable automotive company in the world. They face intense pressure to consistently deliver ambitious promises and fuel their impressive growth. So is Tesla a great innovation company? Will Tesla become the largest car manufacturer in the world? Let me know in the comments below. So thank you for joining us on this exploration of innovation and strategy through the lens of Tesla's journey. As we continue to explore the world of user experience and design strategy, we hope to bring you more insightful and engaging content. If you enjoyed, the, enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep innovating.